Hey, After Buzzers, thanks for tuning in for episode five of Scorpion Plight at the Museum. We're gonna talk about all of it the relationships, the baby. Is Walter gonna go back to Ireland? We're gonna talk about it. Stay tuned. You're tuning into the destination for TV super fan discussion, After Buzz TV. And now, let the buzz begin. I love Pitbull. Everybody to me, he is like, like if I'm running, if I'm working out, and I need like that extra oomph to get me through that, you know, last mile, uh -huh. and Pitbull comes on, it's like done. I could do another five miles if he comes on. Hi everybody, welcome to After Buzz TV. We're not here to talk about Pitbull, even though I would not mind talking about Mr. 305. I love him. Uh, we are here to talk about Scorpion, and who's here to talk to you about it? Your two favorite After Buzz hosts, <laughs> me, Monsi Bolanos. You can find me on Twitter and Instagram at Monsi Bolanos, M-O-N-S-E-B-O-L-A-N-O-S. Uh, uh, Susanna! You can find me at Susanna underscore Kim. It's S-U-S-A-N-N-A-H underscore K-I-M. Yes, yeah. excellent. And we have this song because we couldn't think of anything that to do with like a museum yeah. or like gems or something. You know, from now on, if you watch an episode and you think of a song that goes with it, why don't you tweet, tweet us about us. it? We're Please. really bad at that unless they give us the song. Right, and you have you, a couple days. You yeah, know, so if you think of something, <laughs> please just let us know because if not, we're just going to pick songs that are fun and, yeah. you know, make us move a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> How you doing? I'm good. How are you? Yeah, I'm doing well. I'm doing good, baby. Dandy. How you doing? I'm doing good, baby. What did you think of the episode? It was good. It was good. Yeah. Yeah. I don't think like anything crazy happened. I'm not like, oh my god, I loved it. Like you mm -hmm. know that one episode. But yeah, it was cool. It was cool. Yeah, I I didn't hate it. I didn't hate it at all. The mission itself, I didn't care for very much. Yeah. Uh, I just was like, it's it's fine. I would, like it was cool, but I really liked watching the relationships unfold throughout the episode yeah like yeah. the the stuff that we saw with like toby and Paige, right the stuff we saw with walter and happy, and happy yeah like that stuff i really liked i really enjoyed and mm -hmm. you know it was sprinkled throughout the episode so mm -hmm. it kept me totally like wanting to get more of that mm -hmm. but when it came down to the mission itself i was like eh. yeah okay it seemed like it was almost a little more about that like yes you know and the mission was just like a way mm -hmm. for them to keep them together or yes yeah, group yeah, them yeah. off or whatever. And yeah, you know, let's just get going with the relationships because we kind of have a, a trio relationship starting after this episode. Trio? Kind of. We got Toby and Happy oh, you mean at the end. living a little bit with Walter. Yeah. Because they're going to do whatever it takes right. because immigration is now onto them to expedite the, pa the whole citizenship mm -hmm. thing so that they can get, you know, a divorce and they can officially get married, uh, which I find, I found it quite interesting how... Toby, like the way he described what Happy not wants, but needs. Oh, right. The whole thing about like the divorce, it's yeah. not that he was like, it's not that she wants it. Mm -hmm. It is a psychological need for her mm -hmm. based on her past. He got all doctor on all Paige. Of, I, yeah. On Walter, on both of them. Yeah. Because yeah. when he was, because he was upset at the beginning of the episode about Walter not wanting to expedite the citizenship mm -hmm. with Homeland, like he didn't want Cave to ask because it's, obviously a big no-no right. what they're asking and if they get caught it's not just walter goes back to ireland who knows what happens to cape mm -hmm. you know so and the, it, team. And the team scorpion yeah, all everything that. all of that so i i found that really interesting i really liked it that they were like this isn't this isn't just a want this isn't that she just wants to get married to the, somebody that she likes like mm -hmm. this is actually deep in her core has to do with her past that she yeah. needs the security like she grew up on foster care system and she doesn't want that right you now and those words obviously touch walter because he even though he told toby n n mm -hmm. not they told no but he was, it made it seem like you know he wasn't going to be into expediting it at all and then once toby leaves he's like hey Kay, by the way let's get into that i thought that was going to cause some like more issues mm -hmm. with toby being like what you yeah. know you're not going to mm -hmm. when really he already said yeah yeah but yeah i mean it worked out nicely for them yeah i actually couldn't believe how quickly that went. I, I was with you. I, I didn't think it was going to be like Toby walks away and then he's like, AK, look into it. Yeah. I thought it was going to take a little, like, to the end of the episode. Right. But right. he realized that, you know, this is something different. That yeah. this isn't, you know. And the whole thing that this is something different. Toby needs to back off of Happy a little yeah, bit. Yeah, man, he's gone nuts ever since. I feel like he's gone a little crazy. A little bit, right? A little bit. It's kind of like when Ross goes crazy and friends are, <laughs> you know, like he just goes kind of nuts. Like bit. to me, I'm sort of like calm down. It, I don't know if I would be down to deal with that. And imagine know? Happy. No, exactly. That's what I'm saying. And then like at one point he says like, oh, Happy's not the nurturing, patient, whatever kind. I'm yes. like, boy, have you hurt yourself? Even right. to be around you, you got to be patient for Even to sure. be around you. Like, he's going crazy. Yeah. That's too much for me. Getting, like, a little, like, not that I 
not like annoying where it's like, oh, I don't want to see you, but a little annoying. Me, that yeah. Even even down to like, oh, I feel for happy. Especially, yeah, pregnant lady. God. Come on. And like the whole thing about him experiencing the symptoms that she oh experiences. Oh my God. That was annoying to me. That was so, I was seriously like, come on. Right? Toby. I was like, first of all, you're not feeling anything. Second of all, <laughs> you will never because you don't have a uterus. So don't even try to say that you're sympathizing with my pains. Boy, you will never know my pains. Let's not. Let's not. Let's not play. Let's and that's not. not even what it was, you know? Yeah. He was just doing it just because whatever and it actually turns out being that he's just worried about happy right and that is that's the, and that's even more of a slap in the face seriously i know <laughs> it was it, it doesn't make it less annoying knowing that that's what it is right but the only positive was the whole conversation that he had with Paige, with Paige. throughout the entire episode so. yeah. that was the only thing yeah that he was like learning about being a parent mm -hmm. through the normal parent in the team of Scorpion. Right. You know? And I, when they're in the car and they're, he, he was like, what if he's stupid? Yeah. I don't mean stupid. What if he's like you? <laughs> yeah, and he's just saying all the wrong things. All the wrong I things. I normally love Toby, but this episode, he was really irritating. He wasn't really <laughs> irritating. It, I agree with you. Yeah. I wasn't down for all of the things. Like, I just was like, uh, Paige, slap him. Mm -hmm. Slap him. Just but I love the way that Paige handles handled it. them. Yeah, From exactly. the beginning to end. From the whole, you know, all the advice she gave him mm -hmm. was so good. Down to the end of the episode where he's like, you don't have to hold my hand. It's not part of your job description. Right. And she's like, it's in my friend, friend description. description. Yeah. So Paige, cute. you're so cute. And right. she's like, don't, you know, I, I'm the desk across from you. Yeah, and I love the way they wrote that too, where she already said like the desk across from you, like don't be a stranger. Mm -hmm. And then she's like, no, it's my friend description. So again, that's my desk. That's, the way yeah. you said it, the writers, I love yeah, that. Like yeah. those small things I just love, so effective. Yeah, and even down to like every everything between them when it like, in the whole episode I really enjoyed. When they were trying to find the thing that interrupts the comms mm -hmm. and he like, she jumps on his shoulders. Yeah. He's like, big breakfast. Big breakfast. Yeah. <laughs> Man up. That was like literally right. the theme Those of the whole things. episode. Those things. Like, Man up, why Toby. Why are you being so annoying this episode, why? Toby? You Seriously. Usually, I... You usually throw in a little bit of charm. No charm this episode. Seriously, I, if I was Paige, I would have been like, listen. Right? I would have kicked him down a little I, bit. A little bit. <laughs> I would have definitely kicked him where it hurts for just right? a second. Uh-uh, boo boo. Don't ever say that. Yeah. So yeah, the, the whole time, just being a little annoying. Super but, annoying. you know. Still, we, we gotta we gotta see what happens. Like, he's nervous. Let's give him the benefit of the doubt. Let's hope that it's not just gonna be annoying Toby the rest of God. the pregnancy. The rest of the yeah season. The rest yeah. of the pregnancy. Let's hope that's not what it happens. <laughs> uh, but I am very curious to see what's gonna happen with the three of them living together. How long do you think we're gonna see that for? Uh, I think a little while. Yeah, like I'd a few weeks. Yeah, like a few weeks. But not. Because, I, I hope I mean, it's not just yeah. as long as you know. Obviously, this immigration storyline plays right. out and the ladies around and that lady what did you think of the lady okay let's get into that i'm actually going on i am db <laughs> look at you guys she got it she to, got it. to get her name because i actually really like this actress yeah i did not like her in this role i felt it was very forced yeah a hundred percent like super forced. and it's funny because i've seen her she's in baby mama she is the doctor. Yes. Okay. She's that's that. exactly who she is. I was like, I know I've seen her before. Oh yeah, she's yeah, in a lot and of she's stuff. She's hilarious. Maybe, she's hilarious. She's funny. She is super funny. Wait, Why yeah. is she not on? But it? man, this this I was not liking this character. Obviously, it's nothing on the actress. No, I, I don't just know if it's just like I I the felt like it was they made forced, for that like, character. But yeah, like it was forced. And also, I don't like seeing that sort of character with this team because they're already like the geniuses. They're the socially awkward. They're mm -hmm. the non-emotional ones, you know? To, so to right. see a character that's not one of them that's even more so like that, it was mm -hmm. like, I don't know. It just took away from how weird our team is. You know what I mean? I yeah. would prefer like a normal person. Yeah. Normal. Yeah. I mean, they could have been like quirky, like, like, um, What's his name? What's that name? The lawyer? What? Hey, do you call oh, it? Uh, do you call it? I don't know what's his name. Yeah, Haywood. Hey, hey, would you call, hey, would you yeah. call me? Yeah, like him. You know, like yeah. a normal guy, but quirky. Like you know, like had a different sort of character. But her, like she's just yeah, like you said, forced. Like way too blunt and like dead faced and. But I don't it wasn't. Know, I don't you like could have given me someone that blunt, someone that dead faced. But I felt like I didn't believe her. I was like, dude, this that is. Too. You're, this just seems like you are trying to be a character. Right. Like you are trying to act. Mm. That's what I felt like. And like the, the actress, again, I love her and so many other things. And I've seen her do funny and dramatic. So mm -hmm. it's not that she's only funny from right. Baby Mama. Uh, the actress is Siobhan Fallon Hogan. Listen, I love you. I just felt like this was like you were trying to be a character. Right. That didn't come off natural. Mm -hmm. And like it, I, I, you could have given me any serious person, but just mm -hmm. not 
I don't know. It's like one of the only times that I've been watching the show and I was like, ah, like mm-hmm. I was kind of disappointed in who, because we already knew that we were going to get an immigration officer right. eventually somewhere along the line, someone was going to come look at their relationship. Right. So, I, you know, to have that expectation and have that anticipation and then, you know, be a little disappointed. And I was like, I've never really felt this before. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Yeah. She's listed to be on three episodes of Scorpion. So. So probably three episodes. We'll see them together. We'll probably, two, probably two more episodes. I said about a few episodes. Yeah. Yeah. Probably the next two episodes. So. Uh, but yeah. I, we'll see. But it, it'll be funny thing. to see them like living together. I yes. like that aspect Me too. of it. Me too. I think that'll be cool. Yeah. And I'm wondering if we're going to see like Cabe at all being at Happy's because Cabe can't go home. Oh yeah. Home. That'll be great. That would be fun to see him in Happy's environment uh-huh. yeah, just right? like have to be there happy's dad comes over and it's like what? or just like all the like mechanical <laughs> stuff that there? are probably there yeah you just be, oh happy yeah i hope we see a little bit of that that'll be cute yeah that'll be super cute but let's anything else on the relationships um not really if anything I comes I think up, some we'll, of it comes up during yeah the, throughout um, the thing yeah the let's national, go into national. the actual mission or actually we can even just I, we didn't even talk about this but how about the opening of the episode with the flashback to the ceremony back six years ago mm-hmm. that was so funny i loved it Me i too. also love seeing flashbacks of them pre scorpion well, we know them yeah pre-season one pre- <laughs> I, scorpion. Love, I love that because i we already know that they were friends but it's sort of like how did you get there yes I was, oh yes right if i know someone someone has to watch this but <laughs> if you guys can do like maybe even a season or like a series of episodes where they do flashback episodes for yeah. each um for each like kind of lost when they did yes, yes when they oh, do, i don't know about that but, but sure yes <laughs> like one for each character uh-huh. and showing like how they ended up on the team how they met walter so good. <laughs> right so cute okay you get guys, on that you get on that that would, that be, would awesome. be great that'd be super yeah. good and I, I also really like when they sort of center episodes around one character too because yeah. you kind of like delve it like when they had sly's prison episode yes. and stuff i like that yeah so because we man, learned that would be more awesome. about them yes. that it makes other little things more bigger right and we yeah. see like that obviously it's a little easier for them like getting through life now because they they have each other as yeah. geniuses but bef- before they were in scorpion they had a hard time obviously because yeah. walter is doing this because you know he wants right. to make a safer place for them so i would love to see those interactions like you know them being a genius made issues pre-scorpion pre-scorpion yeah <laughs> yeah i mean and there were total so. issues in that whole flashback yeah they were standing exactly. like five feet they were as far apart as you and i yeah pretty much it's just like yeah and then he's like you can kiss the bride it's right? like oh like, oh well let yeah, me sure. walk over there let and- me <laughs> <laughs> walk over there and uh peck you on the lips and that that whole that whole thing about like who was your agent or who was the person in charge of your case right yeah yeah because yeah. it makes no sense down to their honeymoon book yeah that they were like so proud of i was like walter put that away yeah walter <laughs> what are you what are you being proud of mm-hmm. no 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 and then cabe shows up and we find out that he has plumbing issues and now obviously we know he's going to Happy's, but he's there because he wants to join on the mission. He thinks it's going to be cool to go to the museum oh, right. after hours. He wants mm-hmm. to visit some exhibits, but technically they don't need Cape. Yeah. Cape, this is like a side job. And I like that they in, like acknowledged that. Yeah. They're like, okay, we know it doesn't make sense for Cape to be there, but we're going to make a we're reason gonna make for him a to go. Reason yeah, for him yeah, go. He yeah, said there was like, them. yes, traveling probably would have called that out. <laughs> yeah, like, what do you what do you mean? <laughs> They're probably like, Monty and Susanna going to be like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> but totally, but totally. Right? Yeah. totally. Uh, so they ha- head over to the museum. And they're, it's really boring, like, the way they set it up, to look at this mold on a pillar. And they're trying to figure out why there's mold coming out of this pillar. Yeah, the fungi. I thought they were going to make a fungi, a super fungi joke, and they uh, did not. Right? That's right, good. Right, that would have been swan on. Super fungi. Super fungi. Oh, oh, I was right there. But Maybe it's, another episode. It's because <laughs> Sylvester was dressed as Curious George. Maybe, yeah. He there she you wasn't go. dressed. The hunter in the, Curious yeah, George. Yeah, the hunter in Curious George. But yeah, they hit over, trying to find out this, you know, mold, uh, and they need to do it because the way they're going to test it, they need the security systems to be off. Mm-hmm. So they got to do it, like, in the middle of the night. They're going to be on lockdown sitting ducks you know you know for it exactly it's like you know it's gonna be a problem i feel like you should have set up way more security around this Mm -hmm. whole Mm -hmm. setup Mm -hmm. you know yeah especially millions of dollars yeah when you have a statue named hebe that calls costs over 10 million dollars yeah come on that's you have two guards in the front that could prop they look like mall mall cops yeah exactly they're like asleep probably eating donuts exactly wrong with that but they they shouldn't be them like walking around and they're just gonna kick it at the front desk at the front desk most robbers come in through the front door yes so everything went ready yeah, everything's going real well for Scorpion. Gosh. Toby forgets a chemical, so of course that's how they <laughs> that's how they separate it. That's mm-hmm. how they separate it. He has pregnancy brain. He mm-hmm. does have all the other symptoms. Mm-hmm. I'm surprised I didn't mention pregnancy brain. I like the way he kind of like explained it off though. He was like, I already had six bottles, blah blah blah. You My know, brain registered yeah, it. Yeah, I liked that little like no, because it was sort of like really you forgot a chemical, but yeah. like the way he explained it through, it was Which, cute. 
to us normal people, uh, like for sure. Oh yeah, we totally I forget all done. the time. Yeah, and yeah. if I saw six caps, boom, roasted. Right, there's six chemicals in there. <laughs> exactly. Uh, so that's how they kind of separate the group, and that's how we get two storylines going on at the same time. Mm-hmm. But yet they're all connected. They need each other's help, and they don't even know it. It's Toby and Paige back to the garage to find the chemical, and that's where we get all the sweet talks about parenting and yeah. what you should and should not do. Let happy be happy. And uh, if she wants this, something sweet and salty, you go get that. Mm-hmm. That's what we learned on that side. But, you know, since they separated things a little slow, the team kind of ventures off. Uh, we get Sylvester to go to the Falcon. Yes. He's so excited. Yeah. About the Falcon. Just because he wanted to visit. Just because he wanted to visit <laughs> Reginald. Uh-huh. Reginald, Reginald the Falcon. Reginald the Falcon. And Kate goes off to see the two exhibits he was there for. Because right. he's not needed. So yeah. he's like, bye. <laughs> bye, Felicia. Uh, and then, obviously, Walter and Happy, they're kind of just chilling, waiting. Uh, and the, instantly, the, like, struggle as to what's gonna happen starts before the first, ep- before the first commercials, yeah. we are already like, uh-oh, somebody is, uh, there's something going on, because he hears the falcon squeak in a, in a way, call. Yes. yes, although I would have kind of thought, like, oh, he's, like, tripping out because of me, you know, yes. right, yes. like, you know, you kind of assume, like, nothing else is going on, right, but yeah, he was immediately like, something's going on, let me get you help, let- but a vet? What? He yeah, went to ask so for a vet. To go ask for a vet. I was like, I can't. To I can't. make museum a night museum call. <laughs> a night museum. I know. He and then vets too. <laughs> we see the security guards are passed out. They they tell us that there's a needle like imprint in the neck and stuff. Right. The keys are gone. Yeah. And the comms are dead. Yeah. So like little by little, it's like, oh, this is this was planned. This out. was planned yeah. exactly. Down to we even find out that down to them coming to do this job mm-hmm. was planned. Uh, we think that. The, they these bad guys that are in were purposely spraying this pillar to create this mold. Right. And nobody took the job because nobody does this job without insurance. Mm-hmm. Except Scorpion. Surprisingly. But what did Walter say? He, uh, insurance is for errors and Scorpion doesn't oh, make errors. Right. Are you joking? I can't. I, how kidding? many errors have you made? Right? Let's count them starting Seriously. season one. Even just in this episode, Toby already forgot a chemical, man. He so already about? forgot a chemical. Yeah. yeah. And like, while Sylvester's doing that, we got Kate fighting off one of the bad guys. He puts him in a, what is that called? Um, stocks. What? Stocks? The stock? The thing? The thing that h- held his arms and yeah, on the neck? Yeah, I think it's called a stock. A like dead a, stock? Maybe? No. <laughs> I think they're just called stocks. No? Mm. Hold on. No, that doesn't sound stocks. right. Stocks. No? Not that I know, but that you doesn't guys. sound right. I was just getting on the chat, too. I should have just asked. Well, just, if anyone knows. I'm pretty sure they're called stocks. I'm looking okay. them up right now. Perfect. Uh, <laughs> he already fights off a guy, but the comms aren't working. So they're individually finding out that they're bad guys in the museum, which I actually really liked. I like how they do that when they're like, I wonder if Walter and... Blah blah blah. Know what's going on. I wonder if Cave knows what's going on. And it's like they're both all experiencing something to yeah. find out that they know what's going on. Mm-hmm. I love how I love when they shoot it like that. <laughs> and then we get Walter and Happy being tied to a chair. So good. Yet you're thinking, how are, how are they gonna get out of that? Stockade. 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 That sounds about right. Yeah. 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 That's right. That's Nelbon right. Nelbon Gilbert. Always. Thank you. Always on it, Nelbon. <laughs> Thank you. Yes. Everyone in the chat. Hi, everyone. Yeah, Chanella, Steven Star. Nelvon, Corey B1, uh, the usuals, Ali Harakuni. I think that's a new one we haven't seen. Thank you. Welcome. Emily Norton, new one. I love it. Thanks welcome. for joining us, guys. Thanks, everyone, for joining. We yes. appreciate that we're not just talking to each other. <laughs> yeah. And then we're talking to others. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so they get stuck. And I honestly I was like, how are they going to get out of this? Uh-huh. How are they going to get out of this? The whole, when they're tied with the chairs? Yeah. I, I mean... Yeah, I yeah. assume someone was gonna come help them. You know? Right, but since they left them there, they're like, we can't be just in plain sight helping them out. So right. how do they help them? They use like a banner or like a curtain, yeah. some like a museum thing. banner, something. Yes. They slide down. The cave slides down, takes them out. They slide back up, mm-hmm. and of course, <laughs> though they got up there pretty easily, right? Is that me? T- me? I was like, oh, so that's so that's why we do a rope climb in elementary school. Yeah, <laughs> I'm not surprised Happy could do it. I'm yeah. surprised Walter, Walter did it as fast. Right up there. Dude, upper body strength is so hard. Like, See, th- those really? are little things that uh, Scorpion stretches on. Walter's yeah. strength. Uh, somebody tweeted me today, a fellow old AfterBuzz host, Ryan. You guys might know Ryan Hooks. He used to be an AfterBuzz host. He was like, it really makes me laugh. The like uh, the way they use 
like time on Scorpion. It's like clearly these people have never been to LA. As to how quickly <laughs> yeah, they right. get from point A to point B, that's another right? thing that Scorpion stretches a little bit. Exactly, back. the traffic. Uh, but they're escaping, and of course they can't escape freely because stuff's gonna happen. What happens? The vent door falls mm -hmm. and basically decapitates yeah. Hebe's head mm. over ten million dollars. Mm. So like that's that. the first one. One. That's ten the million first thing they break. in the hole. Not the last thing they no, break. No, not at <laughs> all. Not at all. Uh, I Something that I didn't mention, Walter speaking Spanish. Yeah. I said, boy. <laughs> what else can you do? Where what other languages? From? Where did that come from, Where right? Where did that come from? I don't think we've ever heard him speak Spanish. And his accent was on point. Yeah, it was right? really good. It was really, really good. good. In fact, the guys, the bad guys that were speaking Spanish, I was like, where are they from? Yes. That was a weird Spanish. It was and a little... They, they said Eldorian, which, which is, is not a real place. Up. It's a made up place. <laughs> so I was like, I wonder if they purposely gave them this like specific dialect, dialect? which is super cool because when they the, instantly when they started speaking, I was like, right. I know what you're saying, but it sounds weird. Right, like, right. You know, like so I I liked all that. I, I yeah, like the I like made them. up location. I, I like, like the guys too. They're believable. They're believable. Yeah. I I love the made up dialect that they use yeah, yeah. all of that i really enjoyed made it made up I, country yeah, yeah. and I, I, first I was like where I yeah like, oh i see i can't find it because it, it's not really it was funny because they said aldorian and i was like salvadorian yeah what? yeah that's what i heard too yeah I was like, nah nah that's not it right? yeah they made where? it up aldorian in escrow where's escrow i can't even find that on the map <laughs> oh man by so, the way it's stock Chad Perkins nine said Chad has Chad has answers hashtags Chad has answers. Well, thank you. It's called a stock. Yes, yeah, so I was right. Stock. Excellent. Yes. Excellent. Thank. That <laughs> they called it the other one stock. in the show. Whatever the stock other. Grade? Yes. They. I'm positive because I right now when I was like dead stock is because I remember it being two words. I remember when I was like watching it. I was like, oh, I didn't know that's what it was. Okay. But I think they used stockade in the show. Yeah, I don't know that a stockade. I don't know that stockade's the right word. I think it's stocks. I believe you, but I'm telling you what they use in the damn show. No, I don't think they did. Susana. Them. You guys, someone go back and watch it. See if they say stock or stocks, I will go back and, and watch us. it and send it to you. I Don't you worry. I'm going to go home right now. I'm so excited. Can we do a quarter? Goodness. A quarter bet? Yeah. Uh -huh. Okay. I love betting quarters. There we go. <laughs> quarter bet. I want one from 1989. <laughs> All right. So, uh, they're off on the on a uh, fleeing, trying to rescue the night, whatever. Calm's still not working, but they need to get a hold of Toby and Paige. And who comes to the rescue? The Falcon. Reginald. Yeah. This was... Yeah, me too. <laughs> this was the... A little far fetched. Yeah, exactly. Because, you know, Scorpion I mean, they always to throw in one, so yeah. we gotta give them one. This it just, was the one. I just was like, mm, when was the last time the bird did this? Can he really... like? Does he do this? Does yeah, he do is he this? actually trained for this? All of that. Is but, that believable? You know? Yeah. They said that he is... He was trained to, to fly on a pulse, so as long as it's pulsing. Right. But the whole smell thing... The whole like, smell thing. It wasn't even Toby. based on, like, an actual, like you know, thing that they were working on with this falcon. That right. I would have believed. Like, right. oh, this falcon's special because it does this, this you know? Right, 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 I would right. believe that. You can totally make that up. Yeah. But that they're kind of like, oh, this is, you know, based on a theory that yeah. they are, you know, go to certain smell. Well, yeah. But, yeah. But yeah. whatever. Whatever. You know, it's you, cool. You know more than us. Yeah. Uh, but there's a problem because they're like, our calculations are off now. He can't be in a moving car. We yeah. can find him. And of course, Happy's like, wait, they're on Grand and blah, 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 whatever streets mm -hmm. they said. And that's he's like, she's like, that's where Kowalski's mm -hmm. is. And he's probably going to get me steak and eggs. I love that they always bring up the same spot. Yes, me too. <laughs> me too. I love it. Yeah. Uh, and so the chances that he's going to be outside, I guess, are really, there's a big chance. Yeah. Which I thought was quite ridiculous. I know. Because it's like, well, he's also going to be in the in restaurant. The, in the restaurant. So you're going to like catch him in the walk. That he's mm -hmm. walking. Yeah, but you know. But whatever. But the bird does. The bird the makes it, apparently. Yes. Exactly. Uh, the bird gets to them, and I like how he like knocks Toby down a little yeah, bit. Yeah, right. And Toby like is like, "You owe me thirteen fifty plus what tax, a, plus tax, I mean, plus tip." That's Scorpion, right. you, are you, you do tip on takeouts, you guys. You do tip. <laughs> you do tip. You know. Yeah. On takeout, you should tip like what? On takeout, I, I don't know, but just tip. I do. I do just like ten percent on takeout. Just a little something. Yeah, some, yeah. a little something. Yeah. A little. When thank they do you. twenty, I'm like, whoa, that's too much. I wouldn't even tip me twenty percent on takeout, but you know. But like ten percent, you put my ranch in there my extra ranch right. you know like i appreciate that <laughs> and then sometimes you go to the same place again and they're like hey this girl tipped me last night i give her free bread there yeah girl i got you anywho yeah that's why you're a good person <laughs> that's right when <laughs> get something back out of it <laughs> hey pay it forward 
and they will come back. <laughs> so it comes oh back. My God. Uh, and they, they get a hold of them. They give them the note. So Toby and Paige are up to speed as to what is going on. But things are cray-cray back at the museum. Mm -hmm. Because they thought, oh, they're going to steal some gems. Da -da -da -da. No. They're trying to steal something out of an asteroid yes. that they had in the museum, which I thought was really cool. I yeah, like that. Yeah, I like that. Yeah. And that it had tantalum 181, mm -hmm. which they were going to use to combine with a nuclear weapon that they had, mm -hmm. I think, secretly. They said on the black market or something, mm -hmm. to create tantalum 182, which is apparently Worse. super awful. It's, it's one number higher. So. <laughs> and they already said 80, 181 was worse. bad. Yeah. They already said 181 was bad. So, <laughs> you know, you, you know it's bad. And so they try and make a distraction. I like this part of it where they try to distract the bad guys because they're drilling into this asteroid. Yeah. And they create, like, their uh, cave is, like, giving the play-by-play, -play, kind uh -huh. of, as to how they're going to do this. Yeah. And they're showing it to you as I a I like tapping. when they, yeah, play it out like that. Yeah, it's very perfectly understood like it's not it's like good i get what you're saying one right. step at a time because right. sometimes and you're saving us the time instead of them like this is what we're gonna do and then yeah. they do it it's like well you just said of you course just, of yeah. course right <laughs> and then sometimes they move so fast in the explanation as to how they're gonna do something right that you lose you it. it so yeah. like this it was like it's i love when they do it this way mm -hmm. uh although i felt like it took them a while to realize that they were shooting at mannequins you know what i mean yeah those fools were st just standing there you didn't well, think that was weird the first second think they should about, have been like running away or i mean you know I, I get what you're saying, but I feel like in that moment, you're just like, you see bo you see these big bodies and right. what looks like a gun, right. you're going to go crazy. But yeah. I guess it did take a little too long. I feel They're like... They just shooting at them for a while, yeah. I feel like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I don't know. But oh. yeah, anyways. Well, whatever. <laughs> uh, give it some. <laughs> so they distract them by this plan using these mannequins with these fake guns, and they play something on the intercom, and then Happy and Walter head over to the asteroid, and they are geniuses so they're able to find the most direct route to the mm -hmm. tantalum and break in there before the bad guys come back mm -hmm. but they're not able to do it they do it they do it but it's coming real close they take all the tantalum 181 put in a jar and take off but they're being like shot at right and so we got happy and walter hiding out this is where they had such a sweet conversation when they're hiding out, <laughs> yeah. and he thanks her for being a great wife, mm -hmm. so cute. Yeah, even down, even down to the fact that she said you're welcome. Just the fact that she said you're welcome, like acknowledged, right? That she, he, she was a great wife right. for Walter during the six years. Right. You know, I wish that they were like on their comms and Paige had heard a lot, all that stuff, yeah. and Paige acknowledged that he. Because remember, like last episode, mm -hmm. they were talking about how Walter's so incapable mm -hmm. of like showing appreciation and what. Mm -hmm. That was a beautiful, beautiful little speech, boy. You've been working on that, haven't yeah. you? You know, so I would have loved for, for, for Paige to acknowledge that or to yeah. hear that. That would have been really sweet for me. But you know, that's and just literally icing. <laughs> as that's over, the comms go. The back com on. Yeah, right. I was like, oh, I had you heard that. You know, it was but, it's yeah, like on purpose. Cute. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because Paige cannot see all the wonderful things of Walter yet, yeah, but she should. I know, know, I know. Would have been. Great. But you know what? It was great. We haven't seen Tim. We have not. We yeah. just know he's in Denver. Stay All, there. Also, I don't know why I thought of it this this episode, but Drew, we don't even they haven't even mentioned him this season yet, right? No. Where is he? What are you playing? doing? I Play don't know. baseball? Play baseball, playing, baseball you know, indoor you series. <laughs> baseball. That's a, that's a thing, right? He's not playing MLB, that's for sure. Yeah. <laughs> so who knows what he's doing? He's probably playing adult, you know softball. <laughs> softball. <laughs> Whatever. Yeah. Drew, bye. Uh, but I'm glad Tim's not here. But anywho, uh, so they have this moment, comms go back on, and just like that. Paige and Toby, along with Homeland, are at the front gates of the museum. Yeah. It's like, man, you guys hit no traffic. You guys, <laughs> it is the middle of the night in this episode, though. So maybe... But that made, Yeah, that's true. That no, is I true. fly home when it's not. But it's <laughs> during the day, that's not the case. Yeah. I don't know how they do it during the day. Um, and Walter says there's not enough time, so he's trying to be a hero. And he runs out there to try and give them the talent room through the gates. Because mm -hmm. they're still on lockdown for 12 mm -hmm. hours. So it's like, no, they can't open the gates. All right. And I know that's not gonna happen. <laughs> he gets like taken out. Yeah. Right? He gets tackled. tackled. Yeah. And there's even like a little scuffle. Yeah, like he totally. kind of gets his butt beat a little bit. I was surprised he didn't get shot or something. You know. I you know. Would expect these guys had guns. These didn't guys they? had guns for yeah. sure. Yeah. But they at the beginning they do mention that one guy didn't have a gun. The one that Cape fought. So maybe okay. it was that guy. Yeah, that's true. Oh yeah. yeah. And then Cape took his gun. Took his gun. So okay, maybe that's what it is. Go. But all right. But yeah. I'm surprised you don't have more out. guns. Awesome. Uh, yeah. It takes takes him out and takes the talent and runs. Mm -hmm. uh, and then we figure out how they got in and we figure out that this was all planned out from the very beginning, them even taking this job. Mm -hmm. But they find out that they were in the Mars exhibit, exhibit yeah. because he got a little bit of dirt on his uh -huh. face. And they, I like this too. I don't, I wonder if it's real that it could create this much of a light. But the thing about That's the tunnel, thing, yeah. it's, they said it was a long tunnel, yeah. you know, and then they try and create this thing that will, like a flare, mm -hmm. create this bright light. Yeah. I 
yeah, loved yeah, all yeah. that. I love the idea of it. My only thing was like, would it really be that bright? Especially because they said it was such a long tunnel to yeah. get. And you it know. seemed like it was far off in the city yeah. somewhere, you know? Yeah. And also for, like, that, it was a small amount of ingredients and very, like, simple. Yeah. Like, what, mm-hmm. a cold pack, sugar, and something from something else, yeah. you know? They all, everything that I can make them, that, yeah. you know? When's Halloween? I can, when's that? <laughs> <laughs> Some special effects right there. Yeah. And yeah. I thought another thing that did kind of was, like, really, when he sends Paige to, like, the other roof to see where the light flashes. Right. Which was like, they're on Grand and Third. How and do you 60. know? Yeah, right? I was like, girl, did, did you have your did maps you, out? You were <laughs> such a, how did you know that? Right. You know, like. Paige really knows her streets. GPS. She's actually right an Uber there. driver on the side, so she just cut it down. <laughs> and then the thing goes off, and Homeland is, like, right there waiting at the tunnel mm-hmm. with Toby. And yeah. what, is, what do they say? He's like, put, your, said, put yeah. your hands up. Put your hands in the air. Yeah. Wave him like, like, you just don't to care. Wave him like, you just don't care. But you should care because you're, you're going to jail. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so good. So, so Toby. good. So they uh, take these bad guys down, these really bad guys. So because they took some really bad guys down, the government is taking care of all of the damage mm-hmm. on the museum. Mm-hmm. Uh, so they don't have to worry about it, but they're going to get insurance. Yay. Yay. And we go back to the <laughs> garage, and this is where the whole immigration conversation goes down. Yeah. <sighs> with the actress, with the the character's name was Joyce Linehan. Okay. So we're going to see her for like two more episodes. We are going to see everybody living together. You know, three three's a crowd or what is three's that? Three's company. Three's company. Uh-huh. But three's a crowd. But three's I meant three's yeah, company. Yeah. Uh, anything else that we should talk about? I feel like we got I think all we of got it. most of it, yeah. Yeah, down to the awkwardness when they were talking to the immigration lady. Yeah. The wife and I, babe. And oh, everybody's yeah. like... You guys are so awful. Right. Please. How are you shocked? You gotta work on that. I know. Are you shocked? Right? Why are you guys shocked? <laughs> All right. Well, before we get into predictions, uh, next week is Halloween. Ooh. Ooh. We will not be here next week. It's scary. Because <laughs> it's too scary. No, that's not it. Uh, and not only is it Halloween on Monday, but the day before Sunday, it is Susanita's birthday. <gasps> and because of that, Susana, oh. I have a cake oh, for you. I have a cake. So it's Susanna's <gasps> oh birthday. My and Susanna's going on a Aww, trip. So cute. And it's a little uh, Thank Halloween you. and a little bit <laughs> birthday. So Susanna tells people It's purple. Precious. Oh, I'm going to Ohio to visit my parents. And I'm also going to D.C. to visit my friend Anna. Um, yeah, and it's gonna. And it's like a couple days before the election, so it's going to be crazy to be in D.C. then. So that'll be cool. I'm not going to sing happy birthday, but guys, I'm literally lighting a candle oh right gosh, now. That so allowed? that she can make her Yay. first wish. For her birthday, Thank you, you're that so welcome. So for cute. those of you guys that are don't oh watch gosh. and listen, there is a cake on camera. Look at it. <gasps> it's very Halloween, very uh, Susanna Black birthday because purple. there's purple. It's perfect. It's beautiful, Susanna. I love, I love you. Thank Happy you. birthday. This is your first birthday wish. Yay! <laughs> So we will not be here next week, but we are going to double up the following week and cover both episodes. There's going to be a lot to talk about in two weeks. Uh, But next week's episode, they show us that they're going to go to a cave. It's supposed to be a little scary because of Halloween. Yeah, I love when they do natural stuff. Yes, I'm looking forward to it. And I hate the dark, so this episode would make me like uncomfortable awesome. i hate the dark and i don't like scary scu- scary stuff so we'll i don't see. mind scary stuff i just can't if it's dark and i can't see in front of me it bothers me yeah. so, i don't want to deal with it i can step on like a bug and i really don't want to but with that we will be back in two weeks let's go into some predictions even though i feel like our predictions might not be too much yeah. i feel like i talked gonna, about a lot of it i feel like we did yeah and now your after buzz tv so I have a lighter in my hand, <laughs> so I'm going to start a fire up in here, <laughs> up in here. All right, so uh, when will we get Tim back? Susanna's um, like lick, trying to put her finger in her <laughs> little cake. Up. Huh. Um, Tim. Tim. Probably next episode. Already? He's been gone two episodes? He's been gone two episodes. Yeah, I think next episode. Next episode? Yeah, he'll be back. Okay. To stir and up some trouble. Because we, we haven't gotten any Walter Page. Right. It's I been think, super, like, platonic. Yeah. Well, I think they're, like, really well, focusing. Okay. Maybe we won't see him for two episodes while we focus on Toby and Happy and Walter. Because I think Tim would take away from that, maybe. Yes, yes. So maybe in two episodes. Yeah. Once we figure out that whole situation. And maybe from that, something happens with, like, Walter where he realizes, like, I don't know, something. <laughs> How great would it be? How great would it be if... Walter, like the immigration thing, it, it, it goes bad. Yeah. And he needs to marry someone. 
and he yes. has to marry Paige. But then, but then, wouldn't that still seem like a sham? Though, but that it's one, like, it's like they genuinely know each other right? in a much better way, right? like romantically. And that's true. Like they could have like. Well, I guess they would have to play that now. But be like, we separated a long time ago. It hasn't been great. You yeah, know? you you already said we for six years haven't been living together. Right, like so right. many things about it. And like, what if like you know, Paige is like, married? sorry, Tim, that would be epic. I got to marry Walter, that would be or awesome. else score. And it could be like it's just for bur- work purposes. Yeah, right. But then no, 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 nah stuff starts happening yeah 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 that's what i would love to see that would be fun it might and it forces them to like live together yeah walter lives with ralph yeah oh, so cute and we saw yes. a little bit of ralph a little tiny little yeah, bit a little bit we oh yeah the whole scene with the hat i forgot to yeah, even mention that that, so that walter yes. has a baby gift a divorce baby yeah. gift which is a hat to protect the baby from like radiation radiation and whatnot kind of stuff but a it's like heavy hat. The le- what does he call it? He calls it the lead. He gives it a name. The lead head. The lead head. Yeah, that sounds right. Yeah. Oh, so he funny. Just keeps coming up with these terrible inventions. And then Walter- I think you're gonna get one every episode, probably, right? Probably because <laughs> they do mention the U dog. Yeah. But at that exact moment, Ralph is walking by and he's like, "Mine fits fine." And yeah. Paige is like, "Nope, he's take like, it off." I feel kind of dizzy. No, just oh, <laughs> so funny. Awesome. So I would that love. Kid, I would love love to see that. Yes. And I would also love for tim to go away permanently oh yeah i mean that got like happen, for like right? a job like just send him somewhere he could die for all i care <laughs> sorry tim <laughs> not the actor hashtag the character, truth. Character. It's hashtag character yeah. you're kind of just <laughs> in the way you could totally die you're in the way of our <laughs> happiness of susanna and my uh-huh. happiness sorry. we don't like it so please go away <laughs> go away sooner rather than later um Though I do love seeing sort of like I like I like when Paige doesn't like him and I like when Ralph yes. doesn't like him. So yeah. I hope he sticks around enough for us to see that a like, little bit more on him. Yeah, yeah. But I mean, not for things to go well. <laughs> Keep him as long as he's going to waste. As long him. as it goes poorly. Yes, that's entertaining. That's entertaining. <laughs> we don't want to see them happy or anything like that. Yeah. Uh, how much more are we gonna see of Toby making runs? Because we didn't mention it, but he goes on a run to get pie. Yeah. Because that's what Paige tells him. Yeah. You got to do this. And just listen and not figure out solutions because you're a genius. Right. You got to be normal and just let her just ask happy, her stuff. Happy. Exactly. Yeah. How much more are we going to see that? Like, you I think, think it's going to... Yeah. I but think you think gonna they're going to show good... that a lot? Like, uh, the whole... Oh. The, uh, you know, like, are they going to focus? Because they tend to focus on different things. Right, yeah. I think they'll probably use it as, like, a comedic thing, you know? Yeah, like, I hope so. Because even from the get-go, it's like, I'm not doing it because I need it. I yes. just want to get them out of my way, you know? That's true. Two hours without them, so... Yeah. <sighs> I think it'll be a little funny thing. I, th- I hope so. I hope we see more of that, and I hope... For the next two, because obviously the immigration woman, Joyce Linehan, Mm -hmm. two episodes. So I hope in these next two episodes, we see a lot of them living together, Mm -hmm. a lot of what is like for the three of them. And we see more of like Toby, not the whole sympathy pain stuff, Mm -hmm. but more just like trying to be normal for Mm -hmm. happy and just giving happy whatever she needs. I hope we see more of that. Totally. Anything else? I'm totally into that. No, I think that's pretty that's much it. I think it? covered it all. Okay, everyone. Yeah. Thank you so much for tuning in. Everybody in the live chat, even if you're not in the live chat and you yes. listen, watch later. We appreciate it so much. Remember that you can find me on Twitter and Instagram at Monsi Bolanos, M-O-N-S-E-B-O-L-A-N-O-S. Let us know what you thought of the episode. And remember, if you have a theme song for us to play, tweet us because we suck at picking a song. Yes. Susanna, tell them how much we suck. Yes, we suck very much. <laughs> but you still tune in, so we appreciate that. Yeah. Yes. You can find me at Susanna underscore Kim. I'll see you in two weeks. Two right? weeks. And wish Susanna a happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy Sunday. Halloween, you guys. Happy Halloween. We'll see you in two weeks. Bye. From executive producers Maria Menunos, Kevin Undergaro, Phil Svitek, and the entire AfterBuzz TV staff, we would like to thank you for listening to the AfterBuzz TV network. To watch or listen to other After shows and post comments or questions, be sure to visit AfterBuzzTV.com. I'm Sir Richard Wentworth, and this has been a presentation of AfterBuzz TV. Buzz, Buzz you, you later. later. The views expressed herein are those of the hosts only and do not necessarily reflect the views of AfterBuzz TV or its owners or principals.